Humans are indeed made of the stuff of stars. This is a concept popularized by astronomer Carl Sagan, who famously stated, we are made of star stuff. This phrase encapsulates the idea that the elements constituting our bodies originated from stellar processes, the elements of life. Approximately 99% of the human body is composed of just six elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Among these, hydrogen is unique, as it is the only element that does not originate from stellar processes. It was formed during the Big Bang. All other elements in our bodies were synthesized in stars through nuclear fusion, where lighter elements like hydrogen and helium combine to form heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Stellar nucleosynthesis, hydrogen and helium. These are the primary elements formed shortly after the Big Bang. Carbon and oxygen were created in the cores of stars during their life cycles. Heavier elements, elements such as iron, nitrogen and calcium are produced during supernova explosions, which occur when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and collapse. When these stars explode, they scatter their material across space, enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements. Over time, this material can coalesce to form new stars, planets, and eventually life forms like humans. So you, my dear friend, are a direct result of these phenomenal cosmic processes which took place billions of years ago. In your little finger, an atom of carbon from one star dances with an atom of oxygen from another. It would not be impossible to consider that we might not know each other, but we share atoms of elements from the same stars. Cosmic dust versus star stuff. While it's accurate to say we are made of star stuff, there is a distinction between stardust and star stuff. Stardust refers specifically to the tiny particles created from dying stars, while star stuff encompasses all matter that has been transformed through various cosmic processes. Thus, while we contain elements formed in stars, we are more than just dust. We embody a complex history of cosmic evolution. The proportions of elements differ significantly between humans and stars, despite sharing many of the same elements. Here are the key differences. Oxygen. It makes up about 65% of the human body by mass. Interestingly, it comprises less than 1% of the elements measured in stars. Hydrogen. While it's present in humans, it's not a dominant element by mass. However, in stars, hydrogen is the most abundant element, making up about 87% of a star's composition. Helium. It's not a significant component of the human body, but in stars, helium is the second most abundant element, comprising about 10% of a star's composition. Carbon makes up about 18.5% of the human body by mass. It's interesting to note that while carbon is present in stars, it's found in much smaller proportions compared to hydrogen and helium. Phosphorus constitutes about 1% of a human's total body weight. Most of it is found in bones and teeth. The remaining phosphorus is present in smaller amounts in cells and tissues. The abundance of phosphorus in stars varies. On average, it makes up less than 1% of stellar composition. However, 
Some unusual phosphorus-rich stars have been discovered to contain up to 10 to 100 times more than average solar values. Nitrogen makes up about 3.3% of the human body by mass, ranking as the fourth most abundant element after oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Nitrogen plays a crucial role in the human body, being found in many organic molecules, including enzymes, hormones, amino acids that make up proteins, and nucleic acids that form DNA. Like phosphorus, the abundance of nitrogen in stars on average is low. However, some stars have been discovered to have very high nitrogen content compared to average solar values. While nitrogen is the most abundant element in Earth's atmosphere, making up about 78% of the air we breathe, our bodies cannot directly use atmospheric nitrogen. Instead, we obtain nitrogen primarily through our diet, especially from protein-rich foods. It's important to note that while the elemental composition differs, humans and stars share about 97% of the same types of atoms. The key distinction lies in the proportions of these elements, reflecting the different environments and processes that shape stars and living organisms. In summary, humans are fundamentally composed of elements that originated from stars. This connection highlights our place in the universe and underscores the intricate processes that led to our existence. As Sagan eloquently put it, we are a way for the universe to know itself, emphasizing our deep-rooted connection to the cosmos.